Yes. A mind-numbingly boring stream of seemingly inadequate nothingness. <coughs> Feel free to ramble. Okay, I'm gonna ramble. A ramble, 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 ramble. Brilliant. He's Joe, okay. I'm Katana. That's the intro, let's get on with nothingness. This is a filler episode. Idle, content, filler, nothing meaningless. Feel free not even to watch. There's not going to be much happening. As well as that, if you are watching, just remember, you're the one watching, you Llamas fucking idiot. Llamas can shit if you throw them against <gasps> the wall. Dude, there's a luau, that's right. I, for I forgot that this was a thing. I added sweet pea to the soup. Sweet pea was a character from uh, my Lucha little pony. Libre. Uh oh. No, <laughs> not my little pony. Lucha Libre. No, Mucha Lucha. Mucha Lucha? Yeah. Oh, you could buy a star Mucha fruit Lucha. from those people? There's a lot of stuff that overlaps with cartoons from the 90s. But cartoons from the 80s, 80s gave us... 80s? 80s? 80s <laughs> gave us Heavy Metal 2000. Great movie. Haven't seen it in years, but it's good. Yay. A uh, weird kind of porn movie. It's borderlining. There's a whole ass luau, dude, going on in the game. You know what else is borderlining porn? A movie called Stripperella. <laughs> I mean, that one I could imagine. I mean, the yeah, name it was a cartoon. The, the name, you! Yeah, I know the name. The name! I told you the name! The name! The name is Derp. Your name is Derp. No, my name is Listen, Idiot. Derp. Everyone's favorite idiot. I'm YouTube's favorite idiot. And yours so, too. Yeah. I also put Sweet Pea in this the soup that they're making. So hopefully the, it's, that's good. I don't know. Perhaps we will never know. I mean, apparently you could put the mayor's shorts in there. I didn't get to yep. do that because I don't have them, but that'd be kind of funny. You can always do it next year. I don't think I can. I don't have his pants anymore. Uh, oh. Yuck, someone must have ruined it with a poor quality ingredient. That was me. Well, does anyone want any? Not really. No, the soup wasn't uh, very good, but otherwise the luau was a success. Time to head home. All right. I got something kind of cool from the luau. I got a totem. Is it a totem of undying? No, it's a totem. Are you gonna beat Steve over the head with it's it? It's a totem, you! It's a toe. I got it. Um. Did you just say come? Sure. Why? I didn't. You're just Why thinking you I said things. That? Look! You're the one saying dingleberry dog shit stupid things, okay? Not I. I did nothing. I'm sitting here being okay, tired, head hurts, nose is itchy, butt itchy, toe itchy, all that jazz. Well, we don't like jazz. I do actually enjoy a little bit of jazz. Just a teensy bit of jazz. That's being metaphorical. 
You and your metaphors. Why not use more similes than metaphors, hmm? It's a simile. How do you not know what a simile is, dude? You're 30 something. Exactly. I never bothered looking up what the word meant. <laughs> it's something you learn in school, what the hell? Actually, I forgot what it meant. I learned it in school many moons ago. Oh, you and your moons. There are many. A few moons. So many moons. You would be surprised how many moons. There's moons, I tell you. Did they come with pants pulled down? No, but there are moons. So many moons. Hooray for moons. Did you get your sailor moons? You're a fucking moon. No, I'm not. Oh my god, dude. This is actually kind of getting annoying. Uh, the truffles are actually breaking the fucking fence. I thought that was just something that wasn't actually happening. You know what? Fuck the fence. Let the cows roam free. Why does it break the fence, though? I don't know. I'm not the game designer. Or the programmer. Doesn't make they, any sense, They should have made it to where it, it doesn't spawn truffles on player-placed objects. Yeah, yeah, they should have. Because now it literally just breaks the fence every fucking time. Yeah, they'll patch out the glitches that people use to get places faster in the game, but they won't patch a simple thing as truffles breaking player-placed fencing objects. Out of curiosity, does it really matter if the fucking fence is there? At this point, no. Because, literally, they keep breaking it anyway. So what is it? Well, they don't, but the truffles do. Yeah, so I the had it there matter? for aesthetics, mostly. Yeah, okay. like 80 to 90% was just aesthetics. Okay. Well, I I wanted it there because it looks nice as well, but if the truffles are just going to keep breaking it, there's literally no need for it being there. Exactly. Fuck the fence. We'll just let the pigs and cows and sheep will roam free. I'll get rid of the fence because it's getting annoying. The amount of times it breaks is fucking ridiculous. Agreed. And... Literally, it's because of the fucking stupid thing. That's dumb. That shouldn't be the case. You'd think if it's made out of metal, it wouldn't break, but, you know. Yeah, so we could keep the bottom ones. That wouldn't matter, but the top one is the one that keeps breaking. The one that's near the, uh, the, uh... Yeah. What's it called? The barn. Yeah, the one that's near the barn. What if we... Can we move the barn? Is that a thing? Yeah. How do we you move it? You can move it? the barn, the silos, uh, pretty much everything the, that you've been able to build in place. I think you can even move the greenhouse. How do we move it, though? You go to what's-her-name who originally builds stuff. I think okay. her name's Robin. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm assuming... What the fuck? There's a cutscene! <gasps> I meet the alien, dude! I'm Yay! The alien. You're kidding me, this is crazy. Oh wait, and then Abigail's coming along. Gasp! And she's fighting the alien! No way! No, don't fight the alien! <laughs> Joe! Joe, are you okay? I'm okay. Why is there an alien? Looks like you just scrapped a little. Uh, you had uh, me worried. I'm fine, thanks. Oh my god. Why'd you kill the alien? He could have been our friend. I've never taken a life before. You just took a life. It's sad, but there was no other option. Monsters yeah, don't was. deserve imp sympathy. It was a harsh world, kid. It's sad, but it happens.
Oh my gosh, she doesn't want to lose me, Katana. Let's put him to rest nearby, okay? But I didn't even think this was going to happen. I just wanted to go and move something. See, I'm thinking if we move the 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 thing, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe this won't happen, and maybe we'll build the fence again. Yeah. Sure. I think because we have a disposition for not going too far from the barn, anyway. Yeah, that's fine, but I still would like to have the fence there. I like the fence; it's nice. Uh. How do I move it though? Oh, I figured it out. Never mind. Yeah, oh, I, I was can... about to say there should be an option in the menu somewhere when you talk to her. How do you turn the building? To the best of my knowledge, you don't. Great. Okay. Well, this is going to be difficult then. Actually, I'm going to move a silo, actually. I think you can put those anywhere and they'll still store and move stuff into the auto feeders. Okay. Well, I'm moving these silos. Uh. down and I move the barn uh, a little closer to the uh, chicken farm okay and then we could build the fucking fences back and you said I can move the greenhouse as well I'm um, yeah 50, apparently. 50. well where would I put it it's in a nice area actually uh, yeah, I'm pretty content with where it's at right now as well. Well, I did move the silos and the other building. <sighs> so hopefully this won't happen anymore and we can build the fences back. Is there any more, uh, iron fences left? Yeah, they're in the one of the chests in my room. Okay. I'll build that back for us. And uh, hopefully, this time that won't fucking happen. How far away from the fence did you move it? Quite the distance. Okay. You, a lot more. Did you put it all the way against the rock wall behind it? Hold on, Katana, I'm trying to... <clears throat> Come on, get in there, you. I put it... I didn't put it against the rock wall, no. It's uh, away from it, just slightly. Well, we're not using that space behind it for anything, so might as well cram it right up against it. Well, that means I would have to go all the way back to her. Okay, you can do that later. As well as at that point, I don't think the animals could get back there anyway. And we don't want them to. Nope, we do not. Actually, I think it looks better like this. <sighs> okay. I'm waiting for this frickin' duck to go into the place. Go! Get!
There we go. Alright, so, yeah, this looks way better. Oops, that's not. Stop! Right until damn it! This hits a uh, thousand billion. <laughs> thousand billion? Yeah, uh, ascend for a thousand billion souls is what I want to hit. I'll be back in a minute. Take your time, dude. Oh yeah, that works way better. I'm back and I'm wearing black. Welcome black back. Jack. Jack whack sack. Hacky sack. Mac. Hacky sack whack. That's whack. That's my neck. <laughs> I'm a butt crack. <laughs> I will if I want. No, you don't. I'll eat ice cream. Do it. You'll be the one shitting. Yes, I will. <sighs> I'm currently uh, going through every freaking chest. <sighs> I thought about something. There are people who actually play this game, Clicker Heroes, competitively. It's not a surprise. That every game has expecting you to say well every game has people that are competitive okay well here's something else I thought about do they measure 
their progress in this game by how many ancient souls they've collected? I have no idea. I think that would be the way they would do it. I personally have no fucking clue. I do know that that's not that big of a surprise to me, because, I mean, let's fucking be real. Every game has people that are wanting to do things like that. Well, so. I did see someone speedrun a uh, game called Cabold Care. I'm over uh, here attempting to fucking speedrun this game, dude. What do you mean? Did you watch that YouTube video of speedrunners doing it in an hour? What, this game? Yes. No. I'm not even sure how they would. Probably on PC. That I could see. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm just looking through all the stuff we have, because it's not organized at all, dude. It used to be. No, I didn't. Okay. Literally, nothing was organized, not yet, because there's so much shit. That organization was going to be difficult no matter what the case. And then there's your two chests full of fish. <coughs> That's organized. That's just fish. That's a lot of fish, though. Yeah. That's what happens. I, uh, think that there will be even more fish at some point, so... Yeah. At this, uh, current point, we have quite a few fish. But I'm gonna have to make another chest there. For even more fish? Yeah. No joy rapture. Well, I mean, we have to. Like, that's how you get things done. Also, most of the fish, um, the people want, so... Yes, that's why I'm gonna have to go fishing sometime and just keep collecting fish. As long as we can get that specific fucking eel I'm curious, did you look up uh, the eel and see if it will actually breed in the fishing pond where you can just infinitely get them out? No. You know how many things I'm doing for that to not be something I have to look up? Well, let's see. 13 things at once right now? More than 13. Oh. Wow. And I'm still doing things as we speak. So, that... I can't really worry about that at the moment. And we have plenty of time. I'm also, like, going through every chest so I gotta get the old man uh, one more heart and we should, in theory, get what we need.
the spicy eel recipe. Yep. And that should be that. Now, did you already know that uh, the buffs from eating food stack with the buffs from drinking things? Yep. Okay. So if we combine the spicy eel uh, with the coffee, that'll give us even more speed. And as one man once said, speed is key. He's a man? Jack Spadacy? Yes. How old is he? 37? 8? Something. I think I'm keeping up with his age. It's no way he's older than me. Look, dude. He's old enough. You think I'm keeping up with his fucking age, as I said. I've got better things to do than keep up with someone's age. Yeah, that's true. At a certain point, it just becomes like, meh, why even bother? I mean, as well as that, it's not like, you know, it's going to really matter. Age means nothing, dude. In the grand scheme of things, it means absolutely fuck all. I think a better system would be to measure by maturity level. And in that case, he's not mature at all. <laughs> he's not. Uh, going with the logic that leaders lead by example, and the example is pretty piss poor from a lot of world leaders, you could say that they're not mature at all either. Nope, they are not. Yeah, I'm currently, literally, I've went through most of the chests in the game so far. Took out everything that is what I want to put in another chest and then another chest. <sighs> it's happening. At this point, we would have to spend several in-game days organizing chests to just the way we want them. No, we wouldn't. I'm nearly done. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that's fast. You, my dear boy, have forgotten who the hell I am. Just a bit. And uh, me taking all day on one thing, that doesn't happen. I mean, you've seen how I work. I'm not going to take all day one thing, dude. I got other things to do, like I've said. Like Crash Fallout 4 again. I could do that. Will I? No. Not right now. Thinking about Fallout 4, have you tried re-downloading it onto your new console? Uh, nope. How do you feel about Skyrim? I don't have it. But I love I mean, it. It's a good it, game. Have you ever had it before on any other console? The 360. Many moons ago. Yep, there's moons involved. Okay, it runs a lot better on the Xbox One X as opposed to the 360. Okay, well, I don't have it, so... <clears throat> It's not, it's not a lot of help. Well, my advice is, um, if you did I'm get it... I'm not buying it. I know that. That's why I was thinking of something else. If you did get it, go for the farm, uh, the Golden Hills farm, and get that set up first. And Dude, you I'm not going to be able to remember all this. Okay. You're going to have to tell me whenever I get the game. Step by step when you get the game. Because I'm not going to be able to remember all that shit. Hell, I'll even do a stream and show you. 
You don't have to do that, but... And you can just follow along, and we'll post it up to YouTube for everyone to watch. Seriously, you wouldn't have to do that, but you could just tell me once I get the game, if I do. Will I ever buy it? I don't know. I don't have the means nor money to be doing all that at the moment. That's okay. I've decided to put every item that's like a hat, a shoe, or whatever uh, inside of my dresser drawer in my house. How many items will that chest of drawers fit? Or I don't have a fucking idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, you have a poop throwing be... idea. Looks to be like a few. A poop throwing? Yes, a poop throwing idea. What are you on about? But you said you didn't have a fucking idea, and a peeing oh. idea is completely out of the question right now. Exactly. No peeing ideas, just poop. Poop throwing. 928 billion. I'm closing in on that 1,000 1, billion. I really feel like that's not an actual number, but... It's a British uh, number. Yeah, and I could say that my foot is a British foot going up into a British ass. And I had a London steak yesterday. That's wonderful. I didn't. Oh, I can't teleport some to you. Not yet, anyway. Uh, this is a hat. I've gotten near about every item of clothing inside of this fucking thing. Huh. Nice. <clears throat> and according to what I could see, I could fit quite a few things, actually. Oh, you can even put your rings in here. Cool. I'll do that as well. That way they're not just in a chest or in that. That's nice. Nine ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, one thousand billion. There. Now I can ascend or transcend or whatever the fuck it's called. Ascend. Yes, I'm going to ascend. There we go. So yeah, that actually holds quite a few things, believe it or not. That's pretty epic. And on that note, the ascension bit, I'll be ending this nonsensical time waster. Ooh. Goodbye, Tracy. Good night, Tracy. And for everyone else, feel Fuck free you. to <laughs> use the oh. links to <laughs> Patreon, PayPal. And there's your other mom. monetary donation and contributions of your whatever flavor you like. Personally, From I like your chocolate. PBS station and viewers like you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. This video was made possible by me being lazy, sitting on my butt, and viewers like you. Thank you. Good night.